Alright, what is going on YouTube? Foxy, you're welcome to you guys today with a brand new video, and in today's video, we're gonna make sure you guys use code FOXYOGFUEL.COM for 30% off your order! Make sure you guys go grab some tropical rain, some face berry, oh no, and some sour blue chug rug, and use code FOXY for 30% off. They have brand new cups over at the store right now. You guys can go grab a pomage cup or any other cup, an acai cup, and use code FOXY for 30% off. It's fucking great. Go get a starter pack. You get seven packs of flavors and one cup for like 15 bucks. You, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, bros. It's, it's, it's great. Make sure you guys use code FOXY on gfield.com for 30% off your order from now until July 1st. Hell yeah! No, but seriously, if you guys want to support me and the channel even more, go over to gfuel.com, use code FOXY for anything in the store for 30% off. It helps me directly, so I do appreciate whenever anyone uses my code and things like that. And if you have Twitter and you use my code, tweet it at me. I'll retweet it, favorite it, all that good shit, like it, you know, slow bag it, you know? <laughs> but today, we are going to use a weapon in particular in Black Ops 3 because it's coming to Black Ops 4 apparently and it was leaked yesterday I saw. There's a couple of new weapons leaked. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like down below, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow all my social medias down in the description below. My Twitter, my Instagram, my Twitch, all that good jazz. Use code FOXY for 30% off G Fuel. And without further ado, let's go, bro. Alrighty. So, the M16 is rumored to make a comeback in Black Ops 4. This leak was yesterday, it was, it was made out yesterday, and it's from a pretty well-known source. He's been known to leak multiple weapons and things like that. I'm pretty sure he's leaked a lot of the stuff that we've gotten so far in Black Ops 4. I pretty much trust this source, so I really wouldn't go against it. So yeah, the, the two weapons in this, in this leak, I guess, well, there's four weapons. There's a zombie arm that's leaked for a melee weapon, there's the M16, and then there's also, there's the Argus, and then there's one more, and I don't know what the fuck it is. I, I, it's, it, it, it looks weird. It looks like a plasma type gun, but I don't think that's what it is. I, I don't know. Oh, there's two. Nice. And I gotta give a huge shout out to my man QZ for letting me use his account, because I did not play a lot of Black Ops 3, and I don't have any of these weapons, pretty much. Okay, we're gonna run away. Nice. You got servers? Nice. <laughs> it's lit! Now, the downfall to this is that these weapons are probably going to be locked behind supply drops or crates or whatever the hell you want to call them. Shit, I don't have any. No, dude! I died two off the reps! Two off the reps, bro! It's all good, though. But yeah, big shout out to QZ. I'll leave his YouTube down in the description below. You guys can go sub to him because he's awesome. He plays Apex Legends and all these cool games he's really good at all those games too so make sure you guys go definitely check his canadian ass out bro come here buddy got you no no and he's got the argus look at that that weapon's coming back that you'll see a lot of that now i don't have any of the weapons in black ops 3 because you know the supply drops suck ass but oh got you nope Oh, get get on, bro. There's gonna be guys that probably spawn behind me. Oh, there's more guys over here. Oh, dude, this thing is insane. Alrighty. Now, I'm not gonna throw a camo on this. Or I, well, I wasn't, but maybe we will in a little bit. I like the look of this gun in this game. The look of the gun in this game is very dope. It's a little bit futuristic. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna look something similar to this in, you know, Black Ops 4. However, the gun sound in this game sucks. I know, I know. I'm always, I'm always a gun, gun sound guru. Yep, he's dead. Now, like I said before, this gun is probably going to be in the reserve crates, and that sucks. That sucks. Huge gonads. You're dead. It, it really surprises me that people still play this game. I mean, the game is pretty fun. I will admit, for not liking jetpack games, this game is pretty fun at times. But I feel like it can, like for me personally, I only have fun when I'm using DLC weapons. You know, when I'm not using DLC weapons, it's like, eh. And I feel like that's what brought the longevity to this game. And I didn't play this game in its prime, so, you know, I'm not going to have, like, every single DLC weapon. But I did get the 1911 when it came out. That was that was pretty fun. And then I the first DLC weapon I got was the Peacekeeper. <laughs> so, and I was like, I didn't even know what the fuck it was, honestly, because 
I was just so new to everything. Oh my god, get fucking turned on. I was just so new to everything and I didn't I didn't know like what supply drops were. I didn't know like any of that shit. Like I, I don't I didn't know what the fuck it was. I was like, what what the hell are these crates? Because this was the game that I came back to Call of Duty with. A kind of sorta. Of. I took a break from Call of Duty and then I came back to it. And uh, my boss sold me his PS4 and had this game and Advanced Warfare. And I think Battlefront. So yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. EA. And um, yeah, I, I didn't know what the hell these supply drops and reserve crates were. I was like super confused because when I had last played Call of Duty, it was Call of Duty Ghosts. You know, th there was no supply drops in Call of Duty Ghosts. I don't know, man. It, it was just very odd. It was very weird. All right, so I put a, so I put a camo on this. <laughs> Combine is one of the better maps in this game for sure. I I know it's like a small map and it's like whatever, but it's it's a, it's a pretty good map, man. For for it, for it being so small, it's a pretty decent map. I know it's like three lanes and shit, but oh, dude, come back. No! God damn it, Black Fetus! Now we all know what the best DLC gun in this game is. It's the XMC, and I just got destroyed by a marshal. It's like when this gun is inside, I like the sound, but when it's outside, it's just like, eh. Like, that sounds pretty good. That's one thing that I really liked about Black Ops 3. They really made the gun sound authentic when you're inside and outside. Oh, no way. Dude, no fucking way. No fucking way! Take a T! Bouncy, 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 fun. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. So I, I, I can't remember the, can't remember the, the jingle that Tigger had from, uh, Double from kill. Winnie the Pooh. Oh no, you bastard. This gun's really fun to use. I hope I can get it in Black Ops 4. It won't happen. So I guess we can say Rip Commando. Let me get some Rip Commando in the comments. Because it doesn't look like we're gonna get a Commando. In this next update, unfortunately. Oh, dude, that was nice. That was, that, that was decent for me. I, I'm normally I'm not like all jumping around and shit like that, but that that was pretty that was pretty decent for me. Ah, Lee, bro, is it? This gun is like fucking nuts. Just a one burst anywhere? Pretty much. Killing spree. Double kill. Nice. Okay. Well, we got a Cerberus. There we go. Nice! 36 and 9, I'll take that shit! Let's go! Alright, hopefully we don't get destroyed here, bros. Good lord, this nuketown is... This nuketown is the most colorful nuketown I've ever seen in my life. But it's just... I don't know. I just don't like the futuristic feel to it. I I, I mean, it's cool and all. But it, to me, it's just not... It's not what I remember as Nuketown. I know a lot of people like this Nuketown because it is so colorful and things like that. But for me, personally, it's just not one of my favorites. Okay, yeah, we're gonna run away. Yeah, if my teammate could watch my guy's back fat, that would be great. Double kill, triple oh, kill, oh, kill. was that a quad? That was a quad! That was a quad feed! Holy shit! <laughs> oh, well, okay. That sucks. I'm pretty sure that was a quad feed. That was that was kind of that was, that was kind of dumb lit. That was, that was kind of dumb lit. Thank you, teammates. I appreciate you. Double kill. Nope. Ah. What the fuck? Oh wow. Holy shnikes, that's crazy. Alrighty. Oh, nope. Got him. Yeah, I, I was thinking at first this, this weapon needed a quick draw on it, but not, not so much. I just tried to stem shot. That's awesome. No! 
Nice. Hold on. No, 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 no. Holy shit. Guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you like that the M16 is coming back? Do you like that the Argus is coming back? I'm kind of on the end the spectrum of like a shotgun coming in, but I guess I'm cool with the M16, even though it's they're all going to be locked behind fucking drops anyways. So I guess it doesn't really matter. Nope, there we go. Ah! But guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on notifications. What did you guys think of the M16 being brought back into Call of Duty Black Ops 4? As well as the Argus and like the two other weapons. I don't know what the other two are, but you know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye!